Hey guys and welcome back to Season 2, Episode 9 of my reactions to The Expanse. Um, you guys are a demanding audience, aren't you? Uh, whenever I watch an episode, by about 12 hours in, someone says, When's the next one? When's the next one? Um, so uh, I thought, I better do the next one. Um, and lots of people were, were saying that the next one's uh, a, a good episode, a really good episode. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it to see why it's a good episode. Uh, we'll see. Um, I just wanted to just bring to attention as well. I've said this many times before. I'm not that great. <laughs> I'm not that great at watching TV. And yet I'm making a YouTube channel of me watching TV. But my point is, um, I'm not, I sometimes miss the the odd detail or the odd motivational or things like that and um uh yeah i miss this whole thing with naomi and uh holden and her not firing the um proto molecule into the sun uh which i feel i thought she had so um more for me um, so now I've read up on it, uh, and I understand what's happened, so I understand a little bit more about why they are having this lack of trust in each other. So uh, it makes a bit more sense. So uh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, uh, so without further ado, I'm very excited to watch Season 2, Episode 9 of The Expanse. So this, this episode is called The Weeping Somnambulist. Um, <clears throat> I think the somnambulist is a sleepwalker. I think it's a, a sleepwalker. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh, you idiot. Somnambulism. Sleepwalking. Get me. I forgot what the title is now. The what's the some them? Oh. The weeping somnambulist is a ship. She doesn't want it. You said she caught us? Yes, I did. Because I have orders to follow to and the defense minister wants you wearing this when you your statement. There's a lot riding on your gunny. Now is not the right time to go to war. They really are putting a lot of pressure on her to say exactly what they want. Taking it for granted now. Messing up our planet day to day. Hmm. At least there are still birds. The armor gas is near the Adrenus. That's why I have an inside man. <laughs> She's 
she's always got a trick up her sleeve, isn't she? <laughs> Boy, this ship is a great A piece of shit. <laughs> she goes to Ganymede. <laughs> How many of you have been to Ganymede recently? I'm proud of his mother for sure. I hate the fact he's not being able to say the truth here. That's annoying. It's a bit like when I record a video and then I realise the record button wasn't working. Amos! Amos! <coughs> Amos! Amos! Just the fact that there's a chance she's alive yeah, it must mean everything. I was busy. I have the right to know why. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me. Good for you. Good for you. You've had a shit couple of days. You deserve to be able to send that message. I hope the strain of Earth's gravity hasn't been too much for you to bear. Not at all. I was a Marine for 45 years. We trained extensively in 1G. It's like riding a bike. With tires made of lead. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be having an actual conversation instead of trading recordings for once. It would have been even nicer if you had met us halfway. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you can cut the tension with a knife. That's a good thing to keep in mind. You should spread to your fleet. Maybe oh my god! We're looking forward to it. The reason we're here is to prevent a war. Let's start by remembering the fall. So the issue right hand is de-escalation. Let's get right to it. A lot on our agenda. Oh. That was it? Wow. That looks like a big agenda. What does that have to do with this pro molecule reactor? How do you know about that? That's over. He's helping us. You should be straight with him. That is not like Amos. Normally he wouldn't do that unless he was going to do this. Is that one for any one of the arrows? They're all there, my friend. Saw with our own eyes. She would have died if we'd been anywhere else, but Andy has an actual magnetosphere. So I heard that he was suggesting. Okay. So, are they trying to use the proto molecule as a um, medicine? That can't be a good sense. Okay. Uh, a proto grab and a. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I love the fact that Alex still calls it proto grab. I always forget what it's called, too. But he's living it. He should remember, right? I cannot wait to see what she says in the um, in the inquiry. Because she's wearing the badge. She's wearing the badge. That makes me think that she's going to do what they've told her to. And tell the story they want her to. It was private. Richard Travis that fired the first shot. He was born on Earth. His parents emigrated to Mars when he was a child. He had some discipline problems recently, which suggests he might have been trying to prove that he was more Martian than Earther. And what better way to do that than to take out some Earthers? I hate the fact that they're having to lie. She knows what happened. That, but we can move forward in the effort of peace. Gammy Station but is she did it. food supply outside of Earth and Mars. And it's another of our interests. She doesn't really trust it. it at all. We're willing to discuss reparations. Then didn't we have to say all that crap about Travis? Why didn't you tell me they were going to say that? Because I knew you were Travis was a good soldier. He died for Mars. And you all just threw him into the goddamn crusher. Travis did die for Mars. And if that story stops the war that we do not want, then he died a hero. 
No, but you've made him look bad. You did well with that, Daddy. The hard part's open to the last time. Well, my mom's very voice on it. Oh, it's so shit. Open the shades. This young man is a perfect scapegoat. Almost purpose built. What a good person on our Christmas. Suggests there are over 36 million advanced civilizations out there doing all kinds of things that we just don't understand. If that were true, we would have detected signals by now. Not necessarily. Space is a big, empty place. We might be too far apart. That's the whole point of the equation. They're just broadcasting the signals for too short a time. How convenient. Those things that we're looking for out there, those things might be signals. Human beings are be so close. The thing is the nature of intelligent life to destroy itself. I must get to the presence of biological compounds in the air above the crater. Life in the carbon that melts lead. It should be impossible. Never seen to Just like a soldier and enemy without a suit. <laughs> Does Jupiter really have? Uh, I mean, Jupiter has seventy-one moons. Are they all named? And is that a real name of them? No, no, no. I assume it is. Continue track on every ship on the enemy, and keep your ears peeled. Monitor every MCRN band and drive I don't know if there's anything that affects traffic going in and out of that station. Gonna like this, boss. Rice and beans, and medical supply. Gonna be a nice haul. Our agreement was ten percent. Take plenty. 
It's him the best. But these supplies, they're desperately needed. Yeah, by us. See, this time, we're taking all of the cargo and the ship. Clear the move. Now, are you going to call the harbor master and get his kids to leave or not? All right, all right. We have a deal. We got company! Uh oh! stuff on earth that was my favorite stuff this episode i really enjoyed the um inquiry or inquest or whatever you want to call it um oh, i was so annoyed that bobby didn't tell her real story of what happened in the end but christian is onto it she's onto it she knows what's coming it's okay and then we got um Obviously, the, the, the Ganymede. I mean, that, that I saw coming, right? Um, not Ganymede. Um, Venus. Um, I saw that all coming, you know, that that there was going to be something coming from Eros and, uh, and that it wouldn't be dead. Like, it was still going. Because this stuff, it's crazy, right? We don't know how it works. I just assumed... It would still be going, so it didn't surprise me at all that um, it was kind of where I was expecting it to go. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what else I have to say about that one. Loving, it was great to have Bobby and Christian back. I love both those characters, so, and it was really nice to have them both together in one scene. Um, and obviously, Christian is just, she is dominating, like, she gets more and more. Uh, confident with every episode she's in. I really am... I love the moral dilemma stuff. Um, so, you know, Holden and his team there, they majorly messed up, I think. Those two people, like... They destroyed their lives just by getting into their lives. Um, and that just seems so unfair, you know? So, I know they're all trying to do the best thing, but they need to always think about the lives that they're entering and, and the effect that they're having on them, I guess. So, there we go. Uh, right, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Um, and I will see you very soon for episode 10. Take care. Bye. <laughs>